beamline is what we call the sum of all tools we need to shape the synchrotron light produced in the storage ring. Firstly, we need to collect the light and then focus it onto the material we want to study. For this, we used curved mirrors. The second task of a beamline is to make sure the light produced has a well-defined energy. For this, we use a combination of optical units that we call a monochromator, which was installed here, early 2013. The job of the monochromator is to act like the raindrops in a rainbow. The color of light is determined by its energy, and the same is true of all electromagnetic radiation, even the X-rays produced by a synchrotron. This means that if we set a small slit after the monochromator, we can choose exactly what energy the light has when it hits our sample. This is very important to the scientists who will then put the light to use. The process of building a beamline requires a cross-section of all the skills we have here at the Max4 laboratory. Let me introduce you to a few of them. The best definition of alignment has been described as you need to find a way how to put components weighing hundreds of kilograms with the accuracy better than hundreds of microns or sometimes better 50 microns. It's exactly what we have to do building a beamline. The biggest challenge is to transfer position of mirror from inside each component to outside target holders. This we do here, in late 2013, with the help of measuring arm. After that, we can align each component with the help of laser tracker according to our global reference network that surrounds the beamline. So yes, it was a long, extremely challenge and extremely interesting part of adventure. The control system is the tool that allows interaction with the beamline as a whole and with all its parts. It ranges from drivers that allow communication with hardware such as motors, vacuum pumps and valves, through computations of the energy of the light, graphical user interfaces, and the actual collection of the measured data. Here, in early 2014, we see part of the cabling. Every piece of equipment is connected to the control system network and made accessible through the control system framework Tango, which is the standard at Max4. Building the control system at Species has been a trial of the standards that will be used in the entire Max4 facility. My work is on one hand focused on the different devices that must be controlled, and on the other hand on trying to understand the needs of the scientists, how the tools provided by the control system can make their work easier. And here we are, spring 2015. Here at the Species Beamline, we have one of the few instruments of the world that allows us to understand some of the world's most important chemical reaction technology. A recent breakthrough in instruments of this class allow us to study the detailed process of how a catalyst facilitates the transformation of one chemical into another, all while the reaction is actually happening, a feat which has only been dreamed of before. Now that we have this glorious new scientific ability, we can look forward to a future rich in surface chemistry insight that will propel a greener and more clever world chemical industry. <laughs>